Okay, we spoke now about the three kinds of sun and how they die. We will speak another something about something else now. Here it's telling we made night and day two signs, but we erased the sign of the night. He's telling that we made two, the sun and the moon. The moon before was like a sun, but, but we erased the moon. The moon erased, we erased the light of the moon. What does it mean? The sun, it remained, but the moon we erased. It's like before it had a light like the sun, it was like the sun. We erased it. What, what does it mean, erased? He erased the moon. We will see about this. What, what does it mean, we erased the moon? We will see about this. But uh, we will watch a video about the moon. But the point, our subject, is at the end of the video. I will comment at the end. What does it mean we erased? The moon is not half as long as Earth has, and the front of it looks different than the back. Why is that? Hey there friends, Trace here with your weekly D-News Space Update. When the Russian spacecraft Luna 3 sent humanity the very first pictures ever of the far side of the moon, scientists were puzzled. Lunar maria are those large basaltic planes that make up the face on the moon. They cover 16% of the near side and for some reason, only a little bit of the far side. Okay, I will explain because you want to this, this guy is speaking too much fast. <laughs> I will explain to you slowly, slowly. The moon, we see only the face, we, did, we don't see the backside. You know this. We see the face, but he is speaking about these black spots. What, what is this? It's calling them Moria. Okay, you call it Moria. <laughs> uh, we will... Why this is black place? And what is in the behind of the moon, the dark side? That we don't see, we see only in the front of the moon. What that is? What, what is the difference? We will uh, watch after I will explain little by little because this guy is speaking too fast. Of the far side, scientists set about to learning why the near side had all of these beautiful sweeping gray spots and the far side had none. And 55 years after the first pictures hit Earth, a new study in Astrophysical Journal Letters finally answers the question. Okay, he's telling why the side that we see the moon has black spots in the moon and the dark side behind the moon it doesn't have the black spots why if i explain you understand better this guy you don't understand nothing <laughs> because the earth was just too darn hot the moon is our cosmic buddy uh, okay flying around locked in a synchronous orbit with us scientists believe that it was created four and a half billion years ago and so Okay, you know what, the, what he tells just now? Why there is dark spots in the moon in the front and in the behind it also that? Because our Earth it was hot, hot melted, and the face of the moon that faces the Earth, it remained hot. But the behind moon, you didn't see the, the, the heat of the Earth. And it, it, it didn't become like it stayed what? Four and a half billion years ago when something big struck the newborn Earth, cleaving off a bunch of our planet. The energy from this Mars-sized impact caused the Earth to turn into a ball of molten rock. It was so hot, some matter even got vaporized. Sounds pretty intense, right? After the crash, molten rock, matter, and vapor orbited what was left of the Earth, and eventually it congealed into the moon. Shortly after it formed, our moon became orbitally locked. That is to say, the amount of time it took to orbit was synchronized with the time it took to rotate, which is why we only see one side. It was also 10 to 20 times closer to the Earth than it is today. The Earth is a lot larger than the moon, though, so it took a lot longer to cool down. So think about this for a minute. The moon is cooling off, and the Earth is still really hot, and the moon is right next to our ball of molten rock. It's just sitting there for ages. 
The Earth's heat affected the Moon quite a bit, the researchers say. The far side of the Moon cooled more quickly than the near side, allowing space debris like asteroids and comets to begin pockmarking the backside surface. In contrast, the nearer side would stay molten for thousands or millions of years after that, which affects the thickness and composition of the Moon's crust. Maria came into the story because the far side crust is thicker than the near side. It simply had more time to cool. Millions of years ago, after the crust had cooled, giant asteroids punched holes in the near side, releasing seas of molten basaltic okay. lava. When I was young, it, it was too much hot. And the moon was hot also. But why the moon cooled so quickly? Because the moon is small. It cooled quickly. But our sun, we know that in the inside it, it's molten. Only three kilometer thickness crust, and the rest is molten. But the moon, because it's small, it cooled quickly. This is mean if we erased, yani there is no heat, there is no, we erased the sign of the moon. We erased the heat. But the earth, it has heat, inside there is heat. But the moon, we erase it. Molten basaltic lava, which became Maria. And as the moon cooled, they've remained in place ever since. Today, the moon is completely cold, all the way through. There's no volcanic or tectonic activity at all. So no you heard what it said? The moon, the, the moon is completely cold through, inside out. It hasn't, it hasn't cold. a core. It hasn't a core. Yeah, and this means if they, there is astronauts, there isn't a magnetic field, there isn't a core. In, in the, when they go to the moon, they can't walk like this. They will fly. <laughs> they discovered now that it doesn't have a core. It's called through. And in the verses we read, we erased the sign of the night. And there is no heat. It's put out. You know? This just uh, I wanted to tell you. Nothing internal will reshape its surface. Instead, asteroids are responsible for creating new craters just one at a time. Sometimes the explosions of these space rocks are visible to the naked eye to us here on Earth. One of those impacts happened a year ago, in fact, and it was super cool. Now we will watch another... Uh, the sun runs. Shamsu Tashri. The sun runs. Everybody knows, some of us, that the sun is... Uh, it's in place. It doesn't go. Here is telling Shamsu Tashri. The sun runs. It's running. We will see this. We will analyze. Sun and the moon continuous in orbit. The sun is in orbit. We know that the sun is, we orbit the sun. Suns, they being, they are walking. The sun, they are walking. We know that the sun is, it's in a place, it doesn't move. We will analyze this. This is an important verse. And he is who created the night and the day and the sun and moon. All heavenly bodies in an orbit swimming. All of them are swimming. But we know the sun stays. He's saying the sun is in orbit and it's swimming. Okay, we will watch this. Swimming like what? We will see this. How they are swimming. Was Sama Zat al Hubuk. Look the, what they translated it. Interwoven. Woven, yani needing. Hubuk mean woven. Yani the orbit is like this. Like this. Everything is Sama Zat al Hubuk. All the heavenly bodies are in orbit. This it means swimming in an orbit. Uh, we will now watch a video. If the sun is in orbit, thank you, Mr. Lara. Uh, and we will watch the sun is in orbit, and uh, the heavenly bodies are in orbit. Everything is in orbit. The sky with its orbits, needing like this, like woman. We will watch a video. If it's in orbit, they tell us before that the sun is doesn't move. We will watch this video. 